poke around doing some of the Get me through this. Oh. Looking too much at the minute, Kev. Oh. Mm. Okay. Where's the time anyway? It's. it's in... Wow, it's nearly then. Ooh. I see the lunch is out of the equation now. Great. Oh well. Back to the drawing board. everybody and welcome to another episode of the Uncutting Crew. We are back once again before episode 6 has actually come out but never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> the three of us have managed to meet up for two weeks in a row. It's a miracle. It's an Easter Whoa. miracle and it's not even Easter yet but it probably will be e by the time this comes out. Um, oh boy. Oh boy um, yes. Um, joining me Kevin we have a cat. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Excellent, I'm glad to hear that. And completing the Trinity, we have the Trinity. The tri <laughs> yes. Yes. We, ha we, we have we have Bat Kev, Super Cat, and Wonder Donny. Hello, Donny. Woof. <laughs> this was Woof. an unexpected balance of titles. Woof. Oof. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We've been away for an hour and a half, so. Okay, this well, unexpected you... distribution of super titles. There we go. Wanda Donny, Wanda Donny. Ah. <laughs> I've been awake for only an hour and a half, and I've had a very busy last few days. Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it was a very particular, especially yesterday, from our point of view at the time of recording, guys, uh, because. <laughs> Yesterday was the live stream. I can't remember what episode it even was. What was what? Do you know what that episode actually was that was being live streamed? I mean, you should know, Donnie, because you've probably seen it. But yep. What yep. is it? <laughs> well, yes. Yesterday they had a, a they aired a new Boom episode, but the Sonic Boom crew asked questions and. Or it's not like Kevin asked you. <laughs> but that happened yesterday too. I know, but Kevin actually asked you which episode, Ed. Oh. Um, it, 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 even robot Donny. employees. Robot employees. Did I say? Did I say I just woke up? Uh, <laughs> even Donny oh. takes no notice of me. <laughs> it's fine. <far. laughs> <laughs> but oh, robot, wow. robot employees. Okay, but I, you, as you were saying, the the, bo the boom team were, were answering questions and things. Yeah, the Boom team were answering questions during the episode, live tweeting commentary during the episode. Basically, they were live tweeting what we probably would be doing uh, right now, actually. So, <laughs> go figure. Good news, it'll be about June before we get to that episode. Yeah. Oh. That's a realistic production. <laughs> At the moment, oh. you know. Oh, far too much we going could also, we, we could alternatively power through the evening. Uh, b b no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I I think to, I think to do that with, I mean, what we get we we, from, we might be able to get a couple of episodes done today, maybe if we're lucky. Mm. Yep. Who knows? But um, 
Uh, yeah, so but there, was a, there was a lot of discussion and uh, it was quite a lot of the team, as I recall, from from having to from having to sift through all of the tweets. It it, it was <laughs> most uh, uh, of the voice uh, cast uh, were active. Um, Bill oh, was yeah. active. Um, blah blah blah. That's not very. That's not very useful. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an interesting way to spell Freiburger. Uh, Al- Alan Greg. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sam was there. Yeah, it was Sam. A Sam Freiburger turned up. Kirk showed yep. up for one tweet. Uh, Kirk, Kirk responded to somebody who was being an asshole. Kirk showed up for one tweet, <laughs> but he made it. He made it important. Uh, Wally Winger showed up as well, and. Yeah. He? he was there, but then wasn't. Hmm. Oh. Well. Uh, he, he was he was down to be there, and then he, I don't think he really did tweet. But you had no. uh, was it Nika Colleen? Nika seemed to wake up with voices running through her head in full paranoia mode. <laughs> she was in character. Yep. There was, if you get the chart, if you get the, there's some lovely interactions between uh, between the ladies actually between Nika Colleen and uh, Cindy. Mm. <laughs> some, <laughs> Cindy was actually at a convention in New Zealand at the time. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking at a tweet that I actually did tweet out uh, during the event where I was I, mean, I said that the uh, hashtag Ask Sonic Boom Crew which they were using for the event uh, actually got actually trended in the US um, it did yeah um, and, and it said that people really do love your show and I and I uh, said good job to them and pretty much every voice actor that was involved uh, liked that tweet <laughs> Nika liked it Travis Willingham liked it uh, Mike Pollock tr- liked it uh, Alan liked it. Um, Roger, Roger was Craig excited. Smith liked it. Yep, Roger Craig Smith liked it. There was an excitable Roger. Yeah. He was really excited. <laughs> he he could have liked... toned it down. <laughs> he, 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 he liked. He really liked uh, Sticks' dancing in the episode, which we'll get to when we get to when it. Get, the yeah. episode itself. Roger was but, very uh, much in performance mode. Travis had some great zingers, actually. <laughs> Okay, it, was, it was one of the things I didn't expect uh, that to uh, come in. I think Tra- Travis liked one of my tweets, I think. Oh, no, it was, yeah. No, Travis liked an LMC tweet, which was which was the one which was uh, me saying that I couldn't I couldn't really take part because I was actually taking part in... Um, uh, I was in the middle of a game, actually. I was in the middle of a, a tabletop simulated game of uh, Red Dragon Inn at the time. I, I couldn't see was. the episode anyway, so it was, wasn't much point in, in, in me taking part. Um, but I didn't realise they were doing a general Q&A as well at the same time until it basically finished, which was a shame. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But I, I sort of... I, I saw... There was, there, was, there, was, okay, uh, there was a number of tweets <laughs> from the team. Um, shall we say indicated frustrations... <laughs> <laughs> with, with how some things have been going um, and yeah LMC just basically went in in response to so I, I wasn't specific although if you saw the introduction to this episode you probably know what it was um, I wasn't specific but I basically just went uh, in response to those people I just I just posted the Citizen Kane clapping gif <laughs> 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 because <laughs> You know, don't don't want to get too in too heavy in that. But I'm Travis like that. Um, but uh, yeah. but yeah, it, was, it was it was nice to see, it was nice to see you know familiar because we're used to seeing Mike and Alan and Alan and Greg and Bill uh, and Roger occasionally sort of tweet about stuff. Um, the, the others aren't so much involved, and you don't see I me. Mean, you don't see Travis talk really get involved that much so it was it was nice to see wasn't it yeah i mean it, it was really good to see them all interacting and that moment where they were where they had that discussion was just absolutely beautiful that was the highlight for the entire thing for me 
Um, trying to remember if there are any other highlights. I we learned that we learned that apparently in Sonic Boom, Shadow lives in a cave. The, the, Shadow lives in the awesome cave. The, yeah, the awesome cave, which was specifically named. The so that thing's official, but the, the, <laughs> I don't think it was an official Shadow name. Shadow lives in the but... awesome cave, and Sam also lives in the awesome cave, as far as I can tell. Holy, holy edge, Shad man. So is is he? <laughs> Is he also as a, so as opposed to being the Duke of Sherman Oaks, he's now the Duke of Awesome Cave as well, is he? Or that, that's where he lives. He lives in a cave. Shadow he lives in a cave, a very big cave in the country. And apparently, we will actually find that out later on too. Yeah. Yeah. We, one, one of the things that we got from that, this, we, it is a confirmed that he lives in a cave. The kind of cave is the thing we've got to find out. Yeah, there was multiple people saying Shadow lives in a cave. So, Shadow totally lives in the cave. Shadow so, so totally lives in the cave. Um, and as Shadow, I, as, 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 as I said, cave. as I said to Donny, who who <laughs> in in our Skype chat where the three of us sort of just sort of arrange stuff, Donny just suddenly went, "Shadow lives in an effing cave," to which I just responded with, "He would." <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, yeah, that makes sense. I guess he just walks out into nature. Just walks out into nature. And just, and just stands in like this, the mouth of this cave with his arms crossed, <laughs> and just look, and just looking in a moody way into the, into the middle distance, and that's what he's been doing for the last like thirty episodes. That's, that's his entirety of what he's been doing. Peaceful darkness. Yes. Yep. Pretty much. So edgy. <laughs> so cool. C can we please have shadows? God, I'm so alone. <sighs> okay. You, you, you know the original. Um, the original compilation musical compositions, rather, that we get in the show. Uh, Maybe. yeah. Um, can we... When we get another one of these uh, original musical compositions, which were, which were also mentioned in, in tweets, actually, it's like, hi, I think somebody said it about the episode, is that they... Um, there was another one... Another instance of um, roadway in the direction of uh, disaster area, shall we say? <laughs> there was another instance of that. Um, can we, when we get to <laughs> when we get to see Shadow in the cave, I really hope we we get a version of um, Sound of Silence. <laughs> Just, I just, I, 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 I just want a slow moving camera with like a half fade with like a close up and long distance with Hello darkness my old friend <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 just with Shadow looking outwards and that's how he's introduced <laughs> With a soft fade in and just, just, just various camera angles oh my as God. we have that <laughs> Oh my God That would be lovely Oh, my brain, as, as soon as the cave was brought up, my brain actually just brought up the notion of, and Amy sends him a gift basket every month. Oh yeah, yeah. And Amy Shadow keeps takes it. A gift would make, that, would make, that would totally be Amy. And Shadow takes it, looking suspiciously outside the cave while he then just like snatches it in. Uh, maybe they can this seems to tie in Amy. with Cindy saying something. Um, Cindy was asked a terrible, terrible thing. It's the internet that doesn't surprise me. Um, a girl called Mia asked her, does Amy love Sonic or Shadow? Cindy responded, Sonic all the way. Oh wait, she does quite like a bad boy, so Shadow all the way. <laughs> oh! That, that, there was, after what we said in episode 6, is uh, I, I like the song that... <laughs> I like this notion yep. that Amy gets glasses and still likes what she sees. Yes, a Amy's ten <laughs> Amy's tendency to just somehow not recognise Sonic. Sonic, uh, Glomp. You're not Sonic. You're a lamp post. Um, you're not Sonic. You're Shadow. Let me do that again. <laughs> it seems like it's appropriate. 
Especially considering this is this is Sonic Boom Shadow, so he's like Um uh, it's not just, just so imagine it's not just Eggman bragging that he's the coolest, but everyone brags that he's the coolest. Can I can I put the can I put the caveat in that I would like Mike to sing the version of Sign to Sound of Silence as well? That's what <laughs> The un- the only thing I'm sad is that is that we've we've had it confirmed Boom Sonic is not a weirdo. That was a question that somebody asked and was answered with no. No, he's he's a wee boom. Come on. He's he's not a weirdo. We're not allowed to paddle him. Only you, as the three of us, would would. <laughs> Eh? Only you as the three of us. You this is important. We can't paddle him now, drat. No, have you what? have you ever seen the the original comic that where it actually comes from? No, and I have no desire to. No, no, trust me, it's it's just good. It's I will take just your nonsense. word for it and move swiftly on. <laughs> Too bad. We've well, got. Well, I'm sorry, no? That was like, well, it could be weirder. You could have just posted on Facebook uh, and replied to someone making a. Um, that uploaded a picture of a, a cat, like an actual cat um, sitting around looking as if they were a stalker, and then I just simply said, Michael Meowers. Because mm. I'm punny, apparently. But yes. <laughs> absolutely, the cat was—it was a cute cat. There's so many—I see so many cat pictures on my Facebook feed. <laughs> again, just a random note. Again, uh, it's the internet. But kitty, it's the internet, and I hate to tell you this, guys. You're both on it. So are you. Ah! You've been on the internet for longer. Uh, b- 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 prove this in the court of law. Actually, don't. That's probably a bad thing. Kevin, for how long were you running an, a, a website? How, how long were you running a website? Because that's, that's a. How different... long have you? How long since you first began began running websites? Um, if you go back to kevskingdom dot com, you're talking about nineteen ninety seven. Kevin? On geocities.com forward slash coliseum forward slash track forward slash 8493. Kevin? Yes. I was four. You've been on the internet the longest. You've been on the four. Okay. I was four. I, 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 I was a small person. I'm pretty certain Tim Berners Lee has been on the internet the longest. <laughs> anyway. Um, but you mentioned cats though, Donny. Cats. <laughs> Yeah, and one of the one of the things we learned was also that the um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm a bit poorly. Uh, one of the things we learned was that what you may have heard when we're going through the episode every time there, there's been the, like a cat screech. Oh yeah, Acor- according to Bill, according to Bill Freiberger, there is actually that cat screech sound effect in like every episode. Of season two, it's us. Um, yeah, no, we, no, we we have we have somebody go meow every episode, like that. It's us. Yeah. So we we, we now have there is now an absolute concrete link canonically between Uncutting Crew <laughs> and Sonic Boom season two in that there's there's some kind of cat making a noise. So- so, so basically, in season two, we have our own HQ, and now we have a cat noise in every episode. Mm. Have we inspired them or something? I or... think, I think, in fairness, that biz- the the giant scissor business has actually gone out of business. Oh well, um. Uh, yeah, uh, owing, owing to the corruption of the mayor, um, who should probably be replaced at some point, I guess, this season by somebody else. Um, Owing to the corruption of the mayor, we were the, our HQ was uh, we were basically taxed beyond means, and uh, the the business had to fall. So, um, we we're currently broadcasting out of a cardboard box uh, behind the post office in in the 
in the unnamed village. That's where we are now. <laughs> but it's, hey, it's, it's, it's corrugated cardboard, so you know it's you know it's it's a classy joint. Well. But yeah, so keep an keep an ear out during the episode for the cat, for the uh, for the cat's meow, or the, or rather the cat's meow as it is. I shall have to be quiet so that you can hear. Well, that, no, that, you keep talking. Um, that it's was, the, that oh, was, I shall have to I shall have to be careful not to confuse with meowing. That was that was actually very close to how a cat actually meows. <laughs> that was very accurate. <laughs> It was pretty good. Good for me. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of tweets, a lot of tweets, and uh, as you know from previous episodes of Cousin Crew, discussions about the show on on Twitter they pop up occasionally here, there, and everywhere. When we get to the actual episode with all the live tweets, that's going to be freaking fun to edit. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, I, I I wonder who's going to be the one that's going to have to edit ah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you guys you guys wonder who if only you guys got to actually see the name if you guys only got to see the name of the of the document Kevin made because he posted it on Twitter, the name of the, the document he had with all the tweets, and it's just Sonic Boom tweets. Arr. Hello, like, Twitter, my old friend. <laughs> <sighs> You've come to spelt rubbish again. They, they'll be appearing because there's a lot of generic ones in the QA, so those will be popping up for out the next however many episodes it is probably all the way through to season five um at this rate so that's a something to look out for but again one of the other ones so there was the thing about uh, the cat there was the thing um about shadow that was revealed there was a number of other things as well um of particular interest but everyone got involved so you'll get to see i mean usually you see like only a very select few of tweets from from people because of the because uh, nature of things, but there was a lot of interactions uh, and things relating to the series, favorite characters, favorite moments, uh, favorite lines. Um, that what the show that they actually um, had and, and were live tweeting to had what we won't say it now, but they had the line of the season, which was basically pretty much universally agreed upon by the cast as in it. Um, so, yeah, the the fact that everyone was saying that yes, the the entire room was laughing at that line um, is is a is a good sign. Uh, other news: we have a new writer coming up on the show. Oh yes, you'll never guess who it is either. T- tell the tell the peeps, Donny. Cindy Robinson. Cindy Robinson, Amy Ro- Amy Rose is here, and she's writing. So it, it's worth noting that this this episode is a pizza, uh, a pizza delivery uh, delivery person who juggles and sings. Um, <laughs> yes, she did reference that a couple of times actually. That line from season one. Uh, I think yeah, Roger but... said as well is Amy Rose. As Amy Roger was asked, uh, "Is Amy still a is Amy still to you a pizza lady who juggles and sings?" And to, me, to which he replied, "Always," or something <laughs> along those lines. <laughs> but yeah, Cindy Robson uh, has written an episode. So all of you people who really want an Amy focused, uh, Amy central episode, you know, if. Who knows Amy better than Cindy? <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, but it, it, it was nice though it. because it was it was really nice because it was revealed on her Instagram, um, and I think I saw it via Bill, via Bill's Twitter. But 
Uh, what was nice is that the, 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 like the script, the final script, like everyone had like signed it. So she had, uh, a, she, everyone signed the script for her. So she had like her episode with lots of nice messages on it from, from the crew. So that was nice. It was. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm all snipping. Uh, other news, because there is quite a lot of news that we need to cover, un un unfortunately. Um, something going on with the ratings, Donny. Yeah, you could say that. Uh... <laughs> How bad is it, Donny? <laughs> well, um... Remember when you laughed maniacally a moment ago and then gradually devolved into sheer sadness and tears? Um, that was not me laughing maniacally, Dolly. That was me basically every day of my life. Okay. <laughs> well, Over the course of 24 hours. That, that, well, that could also sum up probably every week that the Sauna Boom ratings have been coming in. Oh, Jesus. As well. Uh... Because, especially this week, because the unnamed episode airing didn't even get 100,000 people watching. Oof. It's not helping that it's airing on Boomerang, which is very limited access for people. And that there's a March Madness going on over here. The March Madness uh, basketball tournament. I was going to say it was... I, I think... I thought there was a... Uh... Was this, is this the NCAA? Stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Which TCC has been very, very active with in their own way. Oh, the bloody metallic madness thing. We got, yeah. We got, we got, we got absolutely destroyed by Final Computer, but we knew that was going to happen. I, uh... I don't oh. even know how to take sides in this, considering there's so many... A lot of the sites and... I'm, I'm part of or associated with so uh... but 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 cat predicted you won cat predicts you'll win so you may as well just have you may as well just have i technically vision. predicted that the system was rigged but alternatively i predicted that every version of you would eventually absorb every other version of you you may you may as well just have a division in metallic madness be the donnie division because that's basically what <laughs> you may as well just have that but that would probably be kind of selling out in my case because of who made the tournament so yes well uh, like I said, well, we had we we had the non-entered TSSZ winning <laughs> yeah anyway, we, we, we may have been knocked out in the first round by somebody with you know it was they were like the third seed and we're like one of the bottom seeds so mm. but uh but we, we may have been knocked out by them, but I, I maintain that we knocked out Sega Driven, um, Sega Nerds, and also the Sonic Show in the qualifiers that you didn't see. So, we knocked all of those out. All of them. Prove it. Prove, prove me wrong. You can. It's okay. We truly defeated everyone in our hearts. We we defeated everybody, ex except the people. Oh who didn't God! Play. Speaking of TSZ, um, oh God, the tweet they just posted. Oh God! This won't, be family. this won't be a repeat of the whole "Tale is Dead" thing from last no, week. No, 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 no. <laughs> but um, which, by the way, is funny because we learned in the past week that uh, Tails is an NPC in Sonic Forces, so, uh, formerly <laughs> part of Sonic 2017, so, yeah, he's alive. Woo. Oh, Jesus. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, yeah TSC quoted the, uh, uh, something that the Sonic Forces producer said yesterday. The world was conquered by Eggman, so what was Sonic doing till then? As just a picture of at least kissing Sonic. Sonic's corpse. So Excuse me a second. I had to change I had to change character sets in the middle of my reaction. And so I'm waiting for my my poor little laptop to process that. Well, 
Well, it could have been worse. It could have been me. It could have been my fanfic idea from last night, so... There we go. Oh, my God. What? 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 Um... Did you gradually... What? What am I reading? Me oh. screaming the word oi. That's literally all it says. Oh, is that is that why there's... It looks like there's Japanese emoji or something. Uh, symbols. Um. That, that's the character for R. Over and over and over again until it ends in E. So, oi. Oh. Um... <laughs> Okay. Oh my better. god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus, shit, it gets better. Right, let's it's just... Completely... It gets better on the Twitter. I've, I've mysteriously found a Son Amy website cataloging evidence for Son Amy. Um, one of the comments I have a problem with, which was, Sonic hasn't made friends with any other female character but Amy. The other, which I... There's, a, there's an entire game about fuck that, it's called Sonic Rush. In, um, but uh, right below that was it's funny how Sonic and Amy are both hedgehogs, isn't it? It doesn't really make sense to have a couple with two different species. Do you think Sega did that on purpose? I think so. Oh, oh, oh I'm suddenly. I was struggling to just post several pictures of Knuckles and Rooch. But on the side of my heart was suggesting post the Somali kiss. Do it, 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 do it. The rest of me was like, okay, no, we're talking about Sega here, and we understand that the point is to make a joke on that, on the whole Mickey and Minnie setup. But somebody has has replied to my comment and said, Son Amy can't work because real hedgehogs actually prefer to live alone, not with other hedgehogs, unless they were together since birth. Oh my! I, no, I, I was just, Gen one, I was just wondering. Oh. I'm just wondering why a tweet that I made like two days ago suddenly started going nuts. It was because Donnie's retweeted it. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the number one super guy. He is indeed. He's also the third character. He's also the third playable character in Sonic Forces. <laughs> But never mind. Pretty, um, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, ra ratings are the. <sighs> Would you like something better? Would you like some news? Well, well, not some news actually. Would you like something, something related to this episode in the series in general? <laughs> okay then. Because it's something we've not covered before, or rather, it is someone we've not covered before. Uh, and that is the storyboard artist oh, on yeah. this episode coming up, which Ooh. is uh, Jordi Jordi Valbuena, um, or Buena. I either way, I, I I I will get it wrong, whatever way it is. Basically, is the, is what we've discovered on these commentaries throughout the years. Uh, um, looks like Valbuena, <laughs> or maybe it's not. Is, is you're, you're asking like, like I I um, would know, and I've just told you I don't. So, or is this French name? And how the fuck do you say this? It looks like a buena. It is a buena. It's Val buena. Okay, good. We're in a good. We're in, in before we're told buena. it's not. All right. Uh, the point <laughs> is that I, that I I just realized something. I completely forgot about a certain tweet, one specific tweet that. Was I had linked to uh, um, during the event? Uh, yes, the boom event yesterday, and oh my god, it just so fits with what we uh, were going on about a certain writer, um, a certain Reed Harrison. Oh, the the uh, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can relocate it because it was absolutely beautiful. Reed existed? Reed does exist, he's on Twitter. Yeah, but... Uh, well, I mean, Reed's, Reed actively existed for a moment in time. He's not as proactive in this season. For those who aren't, yeah. uh, for those who aren't aware, there was a, in, back when, in season one, where this was the Sonic Boom commentaries on LMC and also on the Sonic show, 
uh, we there was a running joke that um, that we couldn't find any information. We could find information about pretty much everybody, with the exception of Reed Harrison, who there was a period of time where there was like four episodes in a row written by Reed Harrison or something silly uh, and it's and it became a running joke as to what had happened to Reed Harrison because <coughs> or, or like or did Reed Harrison even exist is he like somebody else in disguise um, and it basically became a running joke in that fact of like where's Reed Harrison and we, we, we came up with more and more ludicrous answers as to where he actually was like he's in the Bermuda Triangle um, he's actually the first astronaut on his way to Mars you know things like that um, but we did actually <laughs> he actually was he was located in the end after we confused Bill Freiberger on the episode he came along by asking him um, what's happened to Reed Harrison and he was like what uh, so <laughs> uh, but yes so so he's, he's about but he's not as active on season two this time around um because he's busy with other projects i assume uh and uh bill uh, oh, bill tweeted cat do you want to read out this tweet from bill hmm. <coughs> um and okay we've already stumbled <laughs> it looks like her name says barrow Maybe it is. Anne Barrow was recommended by Reed Harrison when he wasn't available to write as many episodes for season two as he did for season one. Yes. Uh, and it was also confirmed that Anne's a, a famous uh, comic writer in in France. Yep. Yes, be, now, there, there is more Reed Harrison coming. You have, you have not escaped him. Um... He may and have escaped us, be... but now you will not escape him. Apparently it's going to be a lot I, more, I do uh... not expect to escape him. He will haunt us for the rest of our lives. Follow and apparently him. there's a lot more um, Amy episodes coming up too. Gord, I think it was Bill that said that yesterday. I, 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 the, the, I, I'm not quite sure that's real. <laughs> I think that might have been a look Amy is appearing now shut up to some people <laughs> uh, which was oh, well, um, uh, which was which was which was glorious uh, uh, Sam Freiberger everyone else was like there was there was a couple there was a couple of peeps who were being really you know what we've come to expect from some from a, a fraction of the fans out there um and everyone was like, eh. except Sam, who was like openly on the attack <laughs> with them and was taking none of it. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, you say something at Sam. And you say something at Sam. I was like, well, the respect, the respect things got out the window. So this is what I think. <laughs> yeah, it was lovely. <laughs> oh, it was lovely to see. Anyway, that so that was that yesterday. was that. Going back to what I was saying, yeah, uh, yeah. Geordie actually has a a blog spot, uh, a blog spot blog, with a number of related storyboards, and one of them is from the tenth of December, twenty fifteen, relates to Sonic Boom. And it is the storyboard op storyboard of the opening titles. Oh. Oh, indeed. Now, I've not seen these elsewhere. So these are now going to appear on the video uh, at that point, and you'll be able to see them all in, in sequence. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, there's, like, there's a three, three pages of, of them just like all... Uh, Sort of but yeah, it's the it's the fuller version of the opening sequence which you see outside of America. Oh yes. Um, <laughs> hence, you've got like the camera movements and stuff being shown. I like the idea. I like the idea. Like in, in the in the very first one, that as as you may know from from seeing that longer version, the cameras panned up onto Sonic 
all the various characters and they're like on a spinning platform. Uh, the, <laughs> the the first <laughs> image suggests that off camera it's actually Orbot and Cubot who are pushing that around, <laughs> which which I love. <laughs> And I hope they could actually bring that back as a joke. Of, of like, it was like, or on Cubot's like, oh, we've done our jobs elsewhere. And it just shows like the, like the opening of this, this, the show again. But <laughs> have it, because we know Sticks almost falls over, doesn't she? She's, she's, she's yeah. like, she's like aware of the platform and is like, yeah. Like have Sticks tell them off for not pushing correctly or something. That'd be good. But yeah. But yeah, so that's the so that's those. Start pose, don't hold, truck out. All the various uh all the various instructions are on there, which is which is nice. It doesn't have the bit with Dr. Eggman at the end actually. Interestingly enough. It's uh it just ends on the group pose. So it's, it's a little, it's a little bit of a different order as well. So uh, clearly tweaked before the end, but that's a, that's a, a nice thing to see. We and we've not, like I say, we've not seen that before. Uh, but so yeah, so that is uh, an example of Geordie's work, and Geordie worked on uh, this episode coming up. Yay! There you go. So, uh, who knows what the episode is? What the episode title is? Uh, oh god. I've completely lost track of episodes at this point. Um, episode guide, I summon you. Episode, yes. This is episode six, isn't it? Uh, <coughs> it's episode this seven, is episode seven. I can see Sonic I can see Spear, Sonic from, Spear here. from here. Uh, uh, um. That was that was a very interesting stereo effect then. <laughs> um, who who was it written by? Who was the who's the writer this time around? Um, I'm really testing your Google foo now. Hang on. Um, <laughs> Natalie. Um. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm I'm gonna let you say it because I always sure. say it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you both agree. Yeah. <laughs> are we? Are we literally? Are, are you literally both stalling so you don't have to say the name? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I forgot how to pronounce it. This is not exactly something I say in everyday conversation. Yeah. The towers are so sorry. And I um, said it wrong and send all your hate mail to me. Like you already do. Um, there's. <laughs> but yeah, so that. So it's, it's another episode from her. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, so we've got that, and it looks like we're, go we're going to actually address Sonic's. Number one fear, which of course, as we all know, is um, is Donny. Yeah, terrified of Donny. With good reason, <laughs> frankly. Um, why, why, why are we? They terrified of me. <laughs> um, I've, well, I'm not gonna say. What? what why? Fill in, fill, fill in your own conclusions here in the comments. Why um, is Sonic terrified of Donnie? Answer in the comments. Um, that'll be interesting um, to read out one show. The, Donnie okay, is so, naturally terrifying. Donnie is like... Donnie is an imposing presence. Um, look, um, at <laughs> look at him! Sit, look at him! Sit, looking in, look at him! Which you can't do, sitting there, confused. Look at that! Basically, only full body picture you have of him, which is him at Christmas in in his presumably yes, pajamas. Only the only. <laughs> Picture that look, look how much human is there! Look at all, look at all that skeleton. Um, it's 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 a terrifying visage. Can we go back to pronouncing Natalie's name again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Donnie. How is it pronounced? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's pronounced yeah. <laughs> it's Natalie yeah is how she <laughs> name, <laughs> apparently. We're so sorry, we're so sorry, we're so sorry, we're so sorry, we're so sorry. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we should keep apologising until, until, until we're done. It's Steve. This, That's this is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things, no. Or me. Or we have we have nice things. We have nice things, but not enough people are watching it. <laughs> it seems. But okay, so uh, we've so we've got that, and we're going to move on to that now, um, and and get off this pre-show thing. Let's let's move on to the actual episode. Um, but first, I guess there's probably some kind of interval thing. So that might play. It might play now. Anyway. See you in a bit. <laughs> there you go, Donny. The most precious of actual children's drawings of Sonic since oh Gotta Go Fast, which is already very precious to me. Kev, what did you do? <laughs> Sega Bits get killed off by a giant piano dropped by De Dr. Eggman, who was Sega nerds all along. Post credits oh, reveal. No. Post credits reveal. They are Donny. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! That does remind me of those. Sega... I'm not oh, on. We've Sega been told off. By... We've been told off. We've been told off by the Sodomy guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sodomy guy, where are Do you? Love part ninety four. Who's the sodomy person? <laughs> or one of them, anyway. Oh, fantastic! Although Emily just said hello. Hello, Emily. Hello, uh, Emily. I mean, Emily is one of the people who actually is one of the um, uh, dedicated reactionists for for Boom. Ah. Rip Tales channel Prower <laughs> since 2017. <laughs> Controversial statement. Sonomi is extremely vanilla as shit. Try something more interesting, for God's sake. There we go. At least ship it in a more interesting fashion. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we did something at the exact same time. <laughs> oh god. What am I trying to what am I trying to follow? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> After Sega Bits' declaration, uh <laughs> RIP Tales Channel Prowl, as Dolly said. <laughs> um, Donnie said that I, ca I can't believe Tails Channel is dead. <laughs> uh, which I said, the prayers from Tails Channel make sense now. He was mourning. <laughs> and we said our tweets at the exact same yeah. time, too. <laughs> how, do, how do we revive Tails Channel Prowler? Do we... How, how do we rescue <laughs> him from this Sonic 2 bad ending? <laughs> do we have to gather the seven Chaos Emeralds and then something about Magic Princess? <laughs> oh boy. My god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kevin, are you Kevin, are you okay? Sonic 2 Sonic 2 bad ending is now canon so much on What? <laughs> it's, it's a reference to the yeah the Sonic show uh, LP is Sonic 2 that Tanner <laughs> the 
joke is that Tad, Tad has never completed Sonic 2 and can't complete Sonic 2. He just can't. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somehow. This is more fun than the episode. Okay, uh, no, no pressure, Ian, but you've got to... <laughs> you've got, you've got no some... <laughs> but we've got to watch the damn episode now. So you, like two years in the past, need to... <laughs> Need to, you know, get your game on. No, no, did, that's the wrong we, franchise. You need to step we, it up. We we did get our game on though. The thing is that Tail died. Tails died at the end of that game. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Tails Channel died in that game. He was killed by an octopus. We can't actually kill Tails. That's patently ridiculous. The fans love him so much. People are still believing the Tails died thing. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. This is great. <laughs> so anyway. Right. So anyway, let's distract ourselves and calm ourselves down with a nice and funny episode of Sonic Boom. Oh, <laughs> glorious. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be interesting if this the episode was about Tails? <laughs> Just to it add to it. might be. I don't know. <laughs> the episode is about Tails. Oh, jeez. Oh, right, anyway. So... so anyway, can we just like detach Tails from Tails for a second? Detach tails from tails. <laughs> Can we detach that tails from this tails? Is, is that is like... that how is that how tails died? He he detached his tails from his tails. <laughs> his tails. I thought this was a lot to answer for. I have to fucking tell you that. <laughs> his tails just after so much use, after so many years, they just detached and went off into the sky, and tails himself plummeted. Uh, okay, 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 everybody, just click on the click on the Skype link. That the last Skype link I sent. It's... Just like. Calm down, stare at it, just like find your peace. <laughs> oh my god. Look at what you just made the drawing go. <laughs> just find inner peace. Just find inner peace in this drawing that is blatantly Sonic the Hedgehog that was on a general environmentalism display. But it's blatantly Sonic the Hedgehog, and look how adorable it is. <laughs> I love the fact that Matt's now going, just calm down. He's like, we're joking about this. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> we're having an absolute field day over this because of everybody else. I, I don't think that it's... I, I, I'm assuming he's referring to to uh, the fans that are actually taking this seriously. Yeah, I hope um, so. But even so... Have, have you been recording this whole time, yeah. by the way? Thank God, can yeah. you please... Please make this whole Tales to Ice Snake video. This is gonna be a bo- this will be a bonus thing for episode seven, I think. Because we've got the episode bonus episode in with it. Jesus actually means Oh let's just get on with this. Right. Oh my god. Everybody <laughs> said to themselves. Everybody calm. We're at Sonic Boom now, where Tails' main threat is an octopus, so everything's fine. This is true. Right. So 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 Sonic Boom, Season 2, Episode 7. I can see Sonic's fear from here. Picking your puns. I, I suspect there will be lots of discussion about water physics after this. Oh, yes. Okay. Everybody ready? You see roll call. Kevin? Um. Kevin? No, your cat. Answer your own roll call. I just. I can't... <sighs> <sighs> a roll call is a call and response, Kevin. You can't just say your name. What, Kevin? Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. Donny. Wow. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I give the smeg up. Right. Seriously. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three, Three, two, one, two, one, we begin. One. Hey everybody, we're back. Here it is, episode seven. I can see Sonic Sphere from here. Puns. Mm. There we go. I can hear Eggman's growl from here. Oh. Fatality. Everybody's desaturated today. You 
were so distracted with phase one of my plan that phase two was executed right under your noses. Behold! Make it up. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? It was a good plan. Oh, super dejected. <laughs> so, how was your defeat? Uh, wow. To say, how was your evenly matched battle? Oh, you know, <laughs> pretty evenly matched. If we were going on a point system, I probably would have won. <laughs> oh. They are, okay, the these... The victory is the second best kind. <laughs> so why not celebrate with a nice hot cup of tea? I've thrown everything I can at that blue oh, gopher. Little... Okay, so... Be something I haven't tried yet. The, the, is the... Okay. That's it! That's what it! What is it that Sonic's most afraid of? That someone will discover he secretly sneaks down to the lair basement to put on costumes and uh, sing show tunes? Good what? Guess, no. <laughs> um, can we have that show, please? Sonic, yeah. That's the musical episode. Then I want Orbot to be like yeah, running the running the musical. musical <laughs> that would be interesting to see. No show tunes. <sighs> no. Hmm. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we allowed him something. Nice anime <laughs> here. Welcome we, to ACDC. We, we need robot arms and a dunce's cap and stuff. I think there's more stuff. parts to one what? of these than that. As soon as my lucky shorts are clean, we'll put my plan into effect. I'll confront Sonic under <laughs> They still have the hair. Cat noises and it isn't moving. Yeah. Back in black, back in all black. Right, let's start with the basics. This is a pawn. Don't kid yourself. We're all pawns on a big chessboard of life. <laughs> I'm starting See, to it's happened it. again! <laughs> we would do it. <laughs> How many times has Tails been eaten by an what? octopus in this I series? A... Oh, good. Apparently, all the other fish can just die. We we've, we've caught those three, so sorts to hell with the others. You tried! Never change, Knuckles. Oh! oh. Ow. Save him. A Paris speaker. Village, destroying everything. Guess you'll have to come down here and stop me. What did he say? Let's get him. <laughs> now, now, Amy, we, we don't want to get <laughs> ourselves. He might no, be coughing. No. Who's making it If it's just Amy, it'll, it'll be fine. We'll just send yeah, Amy just down. Just send Amy down. That Amy will just wreck. <laughs> wreck hours. everything. We gotta do something. Whoa, whoa! Where's the fire? We got eight hours. Say, why don't we hit up Mad Burger for some munchies? Uh, technically, you've got <laughs> technically you've got about eight <laughs> minutes, <laughs> Sonic. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Part of his plan is to give himself at least an hour. You're not supposed to swim for an hour after eating, are you? I mean, that's not true, but he's Man, trying. Knuckles is Knuckles is just getting destroyed in this. <laughs> Con considering the echidna's well known uh, special appendage between its legs, that's probably going to hurt really bad. So, what do you guys want to do after this? Catch the Sudoku. Play some volleyball? Maybe master every instrument in the orchestra? I was thinking maybe we'd stop Eggman. Safety first, Tails. What is it they say? You can't swim for at least three hours after Sonic, stop stalling. I told you. He's exactly why would I stall? I hate stalling. In fact, here's a list of the things I like better than stalling. Oh, root beer, coloring books, bean burritos, first day of spring, beer. second day of spring, third day of spring. <clears throat> root beer. Fine. I admit it. I still can't swim. Simultaneous I never took those lessons at the community pool. Sonic, you promised. They wanted to put me in the beginner's class with the little kids. I can't be swimming around with a bunch of <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, you can probably so afford private lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you have to beat up the thank you for talking the over yard. the cruelty of. Only if you let it be. I suspected Eggman might try what? something like this one day. That's why I created these. Good thinking, Tails. We'll stuff these with leaves, dump them in the ocean, and start a new life two times over. No. <laughs> 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 there are two times over. 
We'll go with plan B. <laughs> There's one town? <laughs> yeah, the dog of us. Alright. They're, 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 they're a village. They count for this. Appreciate the buckles on the flippers. We need to call in a professional. So Jesus. tell me everything, oh dear. and don't let the fact that I'm an award-winning journalist stop you from sharing your innermost secrets mm. and fears. Award-winning? Just because they give them <sighs> to everyone who participates doesn't mean they're not awards! Saul <laughs> 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 still <laughs> desperately trying to gain awards to scary. improve his relationship with his father. Just regular, yep. harmless H2O. <laughs> That's too nice a fire. Put out those Adobe After Effect images. <laughs> Put out those unstylized Roger. flames. If you follow the steps of my patented system, I guarantee you'll be in the water in no time. Step one. <laughs> Great. He's in the water. <laughs> Floats. All right. I'll just stay here until someone comes to rescue me. <laughs> oh, that was beautifully done. <laughs> Curse you! Curse you, spikes. Yep. Why is Sonic died down when his problem was in the ability to swim? Because Sonic's not the smartest person in the world either. We're here, Sonic. How are you handling things? This isn't so bad. It's actually kind of okay. I totally got this. Huh? <laughs> That's is that a fish? <laughs> Knuckles <laughs> is look! <laughs> Keep swimming north. This, this is utter derision from Knuckles. You come man. Up you see you don't know me. What has Sticks done lately? Look who conquered his fear and is here to thwart your evil plan. Good for you. I'm glad you he didn't really conquer it, though. Millions of tons of water all around you. No. Yep. No, he didn't conquer his fear at all. No, he's making all these tortured faces. This is cruelty. Yeah, water has higher pressure Ooh. down there. <laughs> the physics. The pressure. Sonic would like to complain about the physics in this episode. They are far too realistic. <laughs> Don't get lost in the kelp forest. You'll yeah. never come out again. Okay, this isn't so hard. If, if only there was. If only they. If only those. If only those crab meat Ooh. had like some kind of ability to to cut or snip things. Oh. Oh, there we go. That stuff. Sonic's air hose has been cut. I didn't bring a spare, but maybe we can use the hose from the plane's cooling system. I'll bring it to Sonic, but you don't have a wetsuit. I don't need a wetsuit. I'm Sticks the Badger. Yes. I'm st I'm Six the Badger, and for some reason, occasionally my eyes turn black. For some reason. I'm Six the Assassin. Yeah. Stixio Auditore de Forense. Yes. I feel like we're getting confused if we give her that title. And then suddenly they all get out. <laughs> suddenly everything's fine. All they needed yep. was to see a badger swing towards them with a bit of hose. And that's all the motivation all they, need they needed. The sticks, whose shading has gone light again. Weird. Pretty certain that wouldn't work. But never mind. Aw, are you having a rough time, Sonic? Wanna take a break? Well, too bad, cause here they come! The newest minions on Team Eggman! Shark Oh boy! You... Those are cool. You ties. Was, was Eggman like announcing at a sporting a event or something? Yep. There's a weak spot at the bottom right hand side of Eggman's wave machine. Oh, thanks, Tails. That's handy. <laughs> 
Sonic. Straight lines. Sonic using the uh, well-known tactic of uh, not jumping the shark, but using sharks oh. to jump something else. Oh. Okay then. It's not going to blow. It's underwater. It's going to implode. <laughs> oh, well. A good scream. Jeez, hope I remember to renew my flood insurance policy. Oh dear. Well, Sonic, are you glad you overcame your fears? He didn't overcome, overcome his fear. Crazy? They've all been magnified tenfold. That was the scariest thing I've ever done. I never want to see water again. Step two. Uh, is this a bad time to ask for my check? <laughs> oh dear, so. Somebody hold Sonic. Somebody pet him. Like, Sonic didn't learn any get to learn anything about his fear. They didn't do anything for him. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yet I they am... keep saying that his fear was conquered. It wasn't. I am... Mm. It's like his fear is conquered because, um, he stopped freaking out enough to do something, but that doesn't mean his fear is actually conquered. Yeah. We're, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna. That guy is a is a long term psychological problem. We're gonna discuss this in in like the post show section. Um, yeah. 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 I'm not sure what I'm gonna think about this one. <laughs> so anyway, that was episode seven. I can see Sonic's fear from here. Um. What did you think? Um, About the episode generally. For the most part, I did like it. I mean, there was some. There were. It was funny. I did get a, quite a few laughs out of it. But man, we're poor. I poor Sonic. <laughs> like those five-year-olds were poor, cool, but accurate. Poor, poor Sonic. I felt so bad for him, like, by the end of the episode. It's like... Sheesh. Hmm. Poor Sonic. Poor Sonic. Uh, what, what were you, you, you were saying, Kat, about how the phobia wasn't really conquered or... No, that being the joke that, are you kidding me, this did not work. Um, think about... Um, do you remember Fight Fighters from Gravity Falls? <laughs> uh, yes. I don't remember <clears throat> the episode. And do you remember, like, there was the Mabel sub... There was the Mabel Grunkle Stan subplot with Grunkle Stan Scared Heights, so Mabel tries to do a thing. Vaguely. However, the thing that she does is so traumatic that while, on the one hand, Grunkle Stan goes through something terrible and lives, Mabel is traumatised and is now scared of heights. Yeah. Oh. There are two ways to come out of a traumatic situation. Sonic appeared to be doing the coping thing. I don't know why I'm explaining a joke here, but there we are. Um. Um. All in all, we know that Sonic has dealt worse with water in the past. See two absolutely beautiful episodes of Sonic X. In fact, three absolutely beautiful episodes of Sonic X. This happened a lot. But it, it, it was it's it was nice that they, I mean they haven't really focused on it that much that they've although well, the last episode did. Last episode brought it up. This episode put, puts a focus on it. Yeah. But it's the first time it's been properly brought up since the series opener. And it was it's one of those things because you don't. And it seems you don't it have seems to be an interesting it way of like, uh, sorry. It seems to be an interesting way of making up for the infamous I can't swim. Oh yeah, that that is like, help, I can't swim. Yeah, we know. We've now given him much better material to express that he can't swim. Help, I cannot swim. <laughs> I can't swim. But it's, it's one of those it's one of those, it is one of those things that, that you don't you don't have to explain with Sonic, which and they Apart from that one line, obviously, that they didn't really, they never really had to, because it was like everyone knows, everyone knows, like can't swim, and it's a part of in, intrinsic to the character. But yes, he can't swim. 
Yep. It's really creepy when he's able to deal with water. But I, I like the fact that he was still, you know, he was, he was essentially doggy paddling on <laughs> doggy paddling <laughs> on the bottom of the sea. But, yeah, he was adorable. But he, he was. St- I like the fact that the motions were, were still essentially him trying to run. Mm. So because that's because that's that's how his mind copes. How do I get ready to be? I run. So. <laughs> how do I deal with my headaches? I run. How does how, how does something deal with everything? It, he, he runs or he says let's have a race that's basically it yep um, pretty much anything uh, anything stand out for you cat during the episode any really good bits any design elements anything I enjoy the new fashion to an extent always nice to see, always 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 nice to see the characters in some kind of new get up um I find it interesting that they only used um, three of the outfits. Yeah, they they, they clearly they showed all five. five. My particular issue is it's kind of weird that they're all the same colour as their main fur tone. It kind of creates this weird, these characters are slightly naked effect, which is fine for Sonic and Knuckles because they're already naked, but on Amy it's a little... Hmm. I didn't think about well, that. Well, I used to normally wear a light pink like that, except when she's in the P.O.P.O. P.O. outfit. But And on the P.O.P.O. P.O. P.O. outfit, it looks weird that they didn't change the colour, so... Um... It would have been interesting if it was, like, a shade darker than their normal skin, I think, maybe. Or like... <laughs> um, Knuckles had a very peculiar set of lines regarding playground politics that Amy just refers to as that's prison mm. and Knuckles, it's, Knuckles says it's only prison if you make it that which <laughs> makes me curious as to what experience he's talking about a playground or an actual prison probably this knowing, is no Knuckles, knowing Knuckles, knowing Knuckles, Knuckles what he, people are likely both. to be in probably both that would be an interesting backstory. We, we we know that we know this Knuckles has an interesting life, and yes, he appears to be very stupid. But in actuality, there's a lot of clues that in the series that actually he's re- he's really smart, just not in normal things. He he's very technically talented, but yeah. he wants to be. Okay, when he wants to be is not the greatest way to say it, but his his talents lie off what is his talents regular. lie outside of the plot and the script and the characters <laughs> <Yeah>. his talents <laughs> lie outside of everything in the village basically um I do enjoy I do enjoy the um um Styx just flies in saves the day flies out yeah the, 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 with the, the, the eagle screech so, so I didn't. I didn't hear it. Did they actually do the eagle screech for the like the Assassin's Creed reference? Yes, she oh, jumped straight off in the Assassin's Creed pose with an eagle screech behind her. It would have been lovely if there would be. Like, it would be lovely if there was like a cart with, underwater with some hay. In it. Um, oh man! There are also like some. Also, like um, the whole thing with Sonic accidentally breaking his own like floaty ring. Yeah, that, by being a hedgehog. That was a nice bit of. Uh, the thing, the thing is, if you weren't paying that's attention, nice you probably wouldn't have understood to, what happened. Which is that's a nice bit of returning to the logic of, hey, you know, Sonic has spines in his head, right? Yeah, he's got a spiky head. It's just interesting. The ones in his back didn't do anything to it, but I, I, I do. I thought it, it was the one. The, it was the one on the back of the head that it was like. It's the one that is like. Okay, this is probably the most down on his bothersome. Head. But like, clearly the standout moment is everything underwater, where Eggman is just taunting the hell out of Sonic, <laughs> and then the robot cuts his, then the robot actually cuts his breathing tube. A lot, a lot of the... It's like, wow, wow, this. I thought this was a comedy show. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Actual murder <laughs> is, is taking place. 
Is this the show that most of the, the Sonic Stadium board wanted, just leaking in in some very, very strange and confusing fashion? Or is this right. for a different section of the fandom entirely, specifically the one that enjoys seeing Sonic in pain? Yikes. There's... Like, um, dead serious for some I, reason. I did like that... This is... When... It was, okay, to explain, me and Kat, like, spend a lot of our evenings, like, watching things together um, online, and we... So it's like, Kat, we've got a list of things that we watch, like, shows um, that we that we watch... And it's, it's like stuff that we enjoyed from our past, maybe, and we're like just like sharing between the two of us. Um, and there's like we watched let's plays and things and things like that as well. And one of the things we, one of the things that I've noticed is, and and you, you know, I've, t- I've told you this, cat, is that when we're watching a film or a TV show, something will happen, and cat will like point out the fallacy of it. Sorry. <laughs> You're right there. That, 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 yeah, don't that. worry. That was that was that was my part of me. Unfortunately, okay. it was for me, so I need to pick him up again. What's so that? Basically, What's Kat, that? basically, Cat will point out something that the the, the the TV show or movie hasn't done, or that, that it, thing? Or that it needs to do. Was that thing that fell over? The thing that the fallacy that Cat was pointing quite out. Possibly. Um... Yeah, that was that... <laughs> Quite, quite possibly, but so I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of an example. It's like the equivalent. I don't understand of... what you're explaining. So, it's. I'm pretty sure what normally happens is that I say a thing and then the show immediately does it. That's what I was explaining. Sorry. But she's put it more succinctly. I was just giving some background as to why that was the case in the first place. But yeah, cat will, cat will say, you know. Kat will say blah blah, and then it will, within the space about ten seconds, happen on screen. And it was just funny that it was like the reverse, for, and it was it was me this time, me going it's like me me complaining that the crab meat were getting caught up. Where it's like you've got pincers and snippers, you know, you can cut your way out of this quite easily, you know, with I don't know your freaking appendages. Um, and then immediately just the, the, the one crab just wandering up to Sonic and like doing coldly cutting his air cord. That was... That was not expected. <laughs> there was all of a sudden competency in Eggman Robots. When characters get competent, is the dark day indeed. <laughs> what is this nonsense? <laughs> crab meat's being affected. Although that does make sense actually because like they're underwater. They should be more effective un- underwater. Uh, um, for me, and we're going on to Dolly last, obviously, with, with stuff, but <laughs> for me... Uh, f- we saved the best for last, Dolly. Yeah. Uh, and just like the fact that I'm going second, I thought the middle heart, the middle third of this, rather, was um, kind of flat, actually. Uh, it, it lacked something. The first bit, the first bit with... Uh, like the, inter- the the interactions with with like the, like the post battle stuff and egg and Eggman the the montage sequence of, with with the totally original um, com- musical composition, um, <laughs> which which uh, I think is called "Returning to Dark Colors." Um, <laughs> well, I think that's the I think that's the title of the Sonic Forces theme. Yeah. <laughs> The um, right, no, that's yeah, shadow so, Sorry, Rotate that colors doing something. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, yeah, that and the the the, the that that sequence, and you got Orbot and Cubot, Orbot and Cubot, who now who are now exclusively metallic colors. Okay, they are no longer they are in, that that shot with the two of them with the lights because I've had this running thing about saying about the lighting and it bleaching everything out and it not being like clear on the colours that shot of like the two of them um, in the lair like it's, it's, it's okay it's exclusively okay Cubot is now gold okay Cubot is now gold Orbot is now metallic red they are no longer matte red and matte yellow they weren't already matte yet matte red and matte yellow they were glossy yeah they were well you know what I mean no 
Orbot is now metallic red, as opposed from just being normal red. And Qbot is now exclusively gold, as opposed to being yellow. A standard yellow. So that's so that's <laughs> it's weird that it's taken me that long to just like finally like confirm that in my mind, but they've been shown everywhere else they're showing like all the packaging and stuff is there yellow but are they in the opening sequence yes okay I just want to check if they're if, if they've redone their colours it should listening. be in the opening sequence somebody's listening to the show yeah there they are Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. So, okay. So, if you see, mm. um, well, okay, they're, they're like metallic half... there, but they've got a lot warmer colours. Yeah, they're so... like a half and half there. But uh, if you look at other, like, if you look at season one, and like any of the promotional artwork relating to them, they are like this, this solid red and solid yellow. But it, it's it's just the way that the the, the Way they've uh, evolved the the lighting and the textures within whatever software they use with with Boom, we do. It's just that the effect is now okay. Keyboard is now gold. Um. Uh. If you get a chance, find what was it the the episode where it's like all the various Cubots actually probably shows this best. But uh, well, well worth checking out. And goodness me, how many versions of that tweet are there? Oh goodness me. Um, <laughs> what the, the, that one tweet is still go going <clears throat> yeah a little bit somebody, somebody tweeted if you guys don't know who this is you are all too young and you must unfollow immediately <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Well, that's a that's a blunt way of putting it. Uh. Oh dear. But wait, so um, so I, so the first, but that the, the first third I think was good. When it got into the saw stuff, I felt it really lacked. Um, mm. I it, it was it was flat. It was, yeah, and even like. <sighs> I can, I can see Eggman's reasoning, but and then when it came to, like, to, to the actual like battling of Eggman, it still felt like it still felt like they were trying to get up to something weirdly, weirdly. Um, Ridley, what? Weirdly, <coughs> it's I a weird said... spelling of it's a weird pronunciation of weirdly. Um, I, I thought I thought you said Ridley. Like, wait, when did we get into Metroid all of a sudden? Absolutely. Um, but it just felt it just felt like the episode was trying to get to somewhere and it just never really did. So well, it yeah. did get somewhere, it got underwater. <laughs> yeah. I, I like I like the under, I like the underwater stuff, the fact that they realistically did the physics and it was like, hey, these guys are basically completely ineffective <laughs> underwater. Until such time as when Sonic leapt onto the sharks and then suddenly gravity was normal again. He <laughs> just like lands on the sharks in like a normal fashion clunk. Um, it was uh, no, there was there, there was something about it, and it like you know, whereas the last last episode episode six was like it was it was like back, 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 delivering delivering delivering, and whilst this episode had highlights like sticks just randomly being awesome because I'm sticks. <laughs> that was her reasoning. I don't need because I'm sticks. <laughs> that was lovely. Well, um, she had implied she had dealings with the folk underwater. Yeah, which which frankly, so of course, she didn't need us. a wet wet suit. Yeah, yeah which wouldn't surprise us at all. Um, the the, the battle turned around. The battle turned around being because it, it was literally the battle turned around because they just saw sticks. It inspirational like, sticks. Yeah, inspirational. There's a, there's a jungle badger swimming towards us with a length of hose. And that is the reason why suddenly they were able to power out. <laughs> you know, it's... Even, even Eggman seemed a bit, you know... like It's like, okay, the plan's going ahead. And, the, and hey, look, the plan's in motion. And then it just sort of like happened around Eggman, it felt. And it was... Yeah. It, 
it's it, there, there, it's an, it was an episode that was average with a number of highlights for me which sounds like a segue wait it is Donny hi Donny Hi. Tell us about what you think about the episode before we get any of that into any of that. Donny, what is your highlight? My highlight was the water. No. Uh... <laughs> I am not putting... All right. No, 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 no. Okay. okay. We've had... We've had... Everybody is I the disagree. highlight. And now you I want me to put Too the much water, water is the highlight. <laughs> Admittedly, that's a good choice. Because the actual water... The water physics here being on show... Um... I think probably forced we down to do something more than anything. <laughs> like, hey, you know your crap water. We're gonna have an entire episode underwater. Better make it look good. Uh, do you have a character, please? <laughs> I'm not putting water as, the, as your highlight. Oh, come on, yeah, Kevin. Yeah. I'll draw you like some um, Sonic Channel style water art. I'll just oh, put like God. a bottle of Evian. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have um, a very, do you have a, a, a highlight apart from that, Donny? Let's ask that again, Donny. What's your other highlight? Well, uh, my other highlight was say the bloody sky, and I'll just murder you. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was Sonic. I, I, he was adorable in this, and he was he had a funny scream at one point. He was a general highlight for me, even though. I think it was just overall, not just because of the fact he did make me laugh a few times, but he was just just really good in this episode. We, and I we, felt really, really bad for him at times, too, because it really when, didn't when feel I like said... people were really giving much effort into caring about the fact that, hey, Sonic is still scared of the water. <laughs> he hasn't changed at all in this. Nothing was done. Like, it just made things worse, in fact. So, so... yeah. So, so when I said it was liked either by this particular, it was the episode desired by one particular side of the franchise, or a completely different one, you're sitting in the completely different one. Yeah. By, by your description of Sonic's from being, oh, he was so cute. We... Like he was so cute going going through mental torture. He's. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic reacting to everything going all around him and having no... I think it was like had just having no control over his own destiny, it seemed. Like, this was happening to him, whether he liked it or not. And it was just like the exasperation, I guess. But we did indeed, as Donnie mentioned, have volume six of the ongoing Roger Craig Smith uh, course in making random noises. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, the thing for me is like, I really did feel bad for Sonic when it come, came to the way that everyone was treating him in this. Not really. Not, this isn't one like a repeat of just a guy. Like that was brutal. But with this, like, I still felt a little bit bad because it's just like it seemed like people were caring more about the fact that he couldn't swim more than the fact that he actually had a fear of it too. Like, I mean, just a guy was different because that was just everyone being an asshole. Yeah. Um, this this episode was it was a case. Of, I mean, they were they were sort of sympathetic, but they they everyone kind of run out of patience of Sonic's excuses because they, they as set up at the beginning of the episode that Sonic was going to do stuff and started doing stuff and then gave up on it. Yeah, because of his fear. No, it wasn't because of his fear. He got he. It was because he was he was sulking because he was in. He was doing it with like really young kids. Oh, that! I thought you were referring to uh, when they were going to get Eggman. No, 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 no! It was, it was, it was the, it was the fact that the, the friends. Think about point it more like was... this. Think about it more like this. Sonic has a phobia, which means his fear is irrational. 
But when you have a phobia, you don't think it's irrational. You think it's perfectly rational. So you give an explanation that you think makes sense, and nobody believes you. Right. But it's, it's, it's like everyone knows. But, Even Sonic knows. Sonic admits. Sonic admits that And he's... nobody but you knows how bad this is. It was yeah, but I, I I stick with the fact that it was the, from the friend's point of view. It was like I, I was like okay, we'll make we'll make you do something about confronting this because if you're if you're just gonna like say that you will and say what you will, and then just like stop. I, th- I think it's not so much the fact that they were. Uh, it wasn't so much that. It was more along the lines of, hey, Sonic, we need you to help, but instead of actually trying to help you conquer your fears, we're just going to make you swim. They didn't actually tackle the problem at hand yeah, and just kept that, telling him that... That's well, very that's exposure true. therapy, and that's supposed to be a way of getting you to learn, getting you to get past the fear. Hmm. It's just... The problem is that they kept saying, hey, Sonic can swim. He, he, could, he never learned how to swim. He never actually got over his fear, yet they kept telling him, you're over your fear, you're over your fear. He, he wasn't over his fear. <laughs> No, like, Saw kept that, saying he was over. Saw said that no, got, got over his fear. It was, it was more fair, a case of you will learn how to swim. To be fair, uh, Amy said it twice, I believe, in the episode. Amy she again said, calling Sonic out on his nonsense. No, no, he get like at one point uh, when they confront Eggman the second time. Uh, Amy says, "Hey, look at someone who's conquered his fear." And then later on in the episode, uh, when they're at the when everyone's defeating they're at the table, Amy says it again, where he's just like, hey, aren't you glad you can't get your fear or something like that? And I think the so first time like, was more like bravado, because it was just like a taunt of Eggman. He's like, he's like, hey, you said he wasn't going to be here. Look, look. <laughs> Why didn't they just, she just say that, though? <laughs> yeah. but... To be fair, Sonic was doing quite well until Eggman reminded him where he was. Yeah. Eggman completely destroyed that fragile confidence. Like, as long <laughs> as long as Sonic wasn't consciously aware of, fact, aware of the fact he was underwater. So as long as there wasn't a fish, and as long as Eggman wasn't talking something extremely claustrophobic about being underwater, he was sort of in the realms of okay. Sonic also went from a small fish bumping into his arm and yelling in terror to I'm going to lasso two robot sharks and ride them. <laughs> so, They're Eggman robots, that's yeah. fine. But again, but, 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 but my thing I was saying was that it was just Amy at the beginning again calling Sonic out on his nonsense where Sonic was like, I didn't do what have you and Amy just said, you you, we, you had signed up for lessons, you were going to do this and, and Sonic going, oh no, oh, 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 no. Wanna? I. It just seems silly to constantly tell Sonic that, uh, as if they his fear had actually been conquered, when really it really wasn't. Like even though there was a point where Sonic wasn't really in fearful, like in any fear, because mm-hmm. while well, he was distracted by Eggman, he never actually got over his fear in the entirety of the episode. <laughs> That's which, the thing. Which, yeah, yeah, that, but yeah, which is which is Sonic's point. Although, although you can, I can kind of except that from Amy's point of view that having seen Sonic actually you know come back and, and battle underwater and win Amy you know, that, point that, of view that she Sonic. would then that she would then think that that he has conquered his fear when obviously then Sonic going of course I haven't don't be silly a- Amy's point of view is that Sonic is not a pretty pizza man who juggles and sings he isn't so. no he, he delivers Chinese food oh Oh, oh boy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Burger place. Uh, wait, he works at Mad Burger now? No, no. he works at Mad he works at no, Burger's mean, uh, outsourced no, burger. But, but, but I mean onion rings. So wait, so wait, if the mayor runs, if the mayor goes and runs Mad Burger, wouldn't that Technically, become... Technically, Sonic is a burger place as well as a hot dog place, isn't it? Wait, wait, if, if the mayor goes and runs Mad Burger, would that mean he'd become Mayor Burger? Yeah, burger? just because it's getting called Mayor Burger. <laughs> exactly. Mayor Burger turns to Mayor Burger. Unfortunately, every time, every time, um, unfortunately, only one thing's on the menu at any given time. 
and ev- and every day everyone what? who wants to have food that day has to go in and then vote on what it is that anyone can actually have for the next day. Oh no, I'm Kevin. Kevin, it's just corn. It's just corn as far as the eye can see. <laughs> endless endless corn. corn. Endless corn carried by rats. Hey. I'll have you know that they can be respectful members of society. I know. I was making a Star vs. the Force of Evil reference for the folks who don't know. Alright. So, anything else, Donnie, that that took, that took uh, tickled your fancy, impressed you, or you didn't think was that good? Orbot and Cubot being ACDC was absolutely hysterical. Yes. That was far none the best moment of the episode for me. Also the fact <laughs> that it's robots at ACDC. That, that fact that is like uh, the name of power of electricity and then you've got two robots doing it is a nice little I can't wait for the back in black spin off of um Return to Dark AC- Colors of ACDC where it would become uh, Egg and Beg <laughs> and it should, it's not ACDC either it's, it's something else it's some other name of a band I don't know who's ACDC is at all it's all original compositions all original musical compositions Donny all yeah. of them there's so many references in ACDC the... wishes they'd made that song <laughs> so- Sonic Boom like Sonic Boom has so many references it's crazy and yet it's brilliant at the same time like just like the episode that aired yesterday had a Scrubs reference. It had like mm. it had a Flintstones reference. Yeah. So this. So this. Okay. So uh, references this episode. Um, I'm sure there are actually quite a few beyond yeah. what we've got. But we've got Assassin's Creed that was referenced, uh, and what, what was the other one you said it was? Oh, we got well, ACDC referenced. Yeah. In 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 music and uh, and costume ish. Although although I must say I'm sorry if it if it's ACDC one of them either Orbot or Cubot should have wear, should be wearing like a stereotypical schoolboys uniform because ACDC. Yeah, been a more obvious reference. Um. But yeah, or at least, or at least, like the schoolboy hat or the flat cap or something. You know, one of the two. <sighs> so alternative names, by the way, in the comments, more more, more in the comments action for you. Um, names for the uh, for the Orbot and Cubot band. That's your task for today. As well oh as my. as well as reasons why Donnie's such a terrifying threat to Sonic. How am I? How am I terrifying? You are Donnie. What? Why? why? You, you scared Cat into silence. If would I be? If I'm? If, if so? Am I the water? If if wait, I'm terrified in the Sonic com- community as in way the same way Sonic is terrified of water. Does wait. that make me the water of the Sonic community? <laughs> Wait, does this mean? Wait, so so you are basically a living embod? Are you suggesting that you're a living embodiment of water? I'm it's the Donny, of it, the god of destruction. <laughs> oh god! We let him out. Of, we let him out of the master emerald every week, so we can talk for you guys. This is what we do. Mm. Cat is basically Artical. As long as long as Supersonic doesn't ram through me, um. And make me dissipate. Um, <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> the ending of Sonic. <laughs> that Adventure sounds a lot Sonic... worse than you think it does. <laughs> I know it does. But okay. that... <laughs> That's. I mean, that sounds really bad. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, as long as Super Sonic doesn't ram through me, because that's exactly what he did in Sonic Again, Adventure. Again, what happens in your own home is your own business, but. It's... That's not what I mean. <laughs> I have no idea what what Kevin is joking about. You're, it pro- it's probably better off if you don't know what he's joking about, to be honest. I feel like I should know. 
<laughs> I'll explain it afterwards. I feel like I should have every idea of what he's talking about in more detail than I've reviewed. And yet... <laughs> that sounds even worse now. <laughs> Okay. You're not making this um, any better, you know. Okay, so anything else anyone wants to add relating to the episode? Um, that thing about the water physics really were good in this, weren't they? Uh, yeah, but again, we were kind of at that point where, um, we're coming at that point where it's. Look, they had nowhere to hide with that episode, so I it, it, they they really needed to be on point. Um, and it was it was it was good, and it was it was like, even the above water stuff wasn't that bad. Um, when sticks came came out of the water, yeah, like they, they it seems that they did improve the liquid physics in the uh, show. And I'm I'm really glad because I think that was one of the main things we had, one of the main criticisms we had about the show. But yeah, um, that, yeah, but that was it was very legitimate because it was just so bad. Oh, well, I, I know it was legitimate, but I mean, like that was one of the main things. Like that was perhaps the thing we were critical about most of all in season one, and it actually was fixed in season two, which is good. So, uh, the. Okay, so Natalis, as you know, is uh, is the uh, director, series director, or one of them has been throughout. Um, I'm going to, like, ask you guys, like, like uh, some of the other ones, some of the other shows that she's done. Uh, instead, there's the two other shows that are in season two are Blackout and Nuck Nuck Who's There. We've not, which we've not got to yet. Um, but previously, previously on Sonic Boom, uh, she had the she wrote the episodes "Fire in a Crowded Workshop." That was a good episode. The Curse of the Cross-eyed Moose. That was a weird episode. And let's play musical friends. Mm. And I can't even remember what that one was about. Oh, that was the one with the the weird bad guy who is a computer virus. Oh my! Yeah, I yeah, think it was. Yeah, it was a bit, we, we, the fact that we all had to really think hard about that. The fact that we had to think hard about that speaks to its issues as a really bad title for an episode. Yeah. Um... Not necessarily the quality of the episode, but the fact that the title is so non-indicative. Yeah. So Cause of, I can remember about the virus guy, but I can't connect it with the title. So, so, betw so between I can see Sonic Sphere, Fire in a Crowded Workshop, and the, the Curse of the Crossover Moves, and Let's Play Musical Friends, where would you put it in the like the top four episodes that um, Sass has done? <laughs> um, I don't know. There's been so many episodes, I don't know where I would put it. I so just we're in the, that that particular floor. <laughs> there's been like as of this recording, there's been seventy episodes. So yeah, well, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying we're within within those four, because for slightly more ease. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Pays attention to me. It's great. Um, where would you put that in within those four episodes, though? What, what position would you say? Would you say it was the best episode out of the four, or or not? Well, I can see something there. Yeah. Hmm. Out of four at the moment, it's at two. Uh, I'm assuming fire in a crowded workshop's number one for you. Yes. Uh. For me, it's at number three. I can get that. Um, with Curse of the Cross Eye Moves just above that, just because that was so really weird <laughs> episode. So, it's, and Let's Play Musical Friends was kind of on the, although that had some interesting creativity bits. It was a bit like, actually, Let's Play Musical Friends was very much like I Can See Sonic Sphere from here, in that it was 
a sort of an eh episode with some bits of really interesting creativity. Um, but so I, I would put I can see something above that, but I wouldn't put it above Curse of the Crossing Moose and Fire in a Crowded Workshop. Uh, that was the one that introduced uh, what's her name, the character um, Percy. Percy, yeah. Because apparently we get per- apparently Percy's back this season as as well as Stacy. Okay. Stacy gets. I, I, I've read something about Stacy being specifically named in this in this one in the season. Uh, Donny. That that is an excellent explanation of an animation error. Go for it with it. Just go for it with it. Uh, um, yeah, Donny. Where would you? Do you know where you would put within the top four? Within the four, uh, the Talos episode. Uh, no, <laughs> I have no idea at all. <laughs> I so have between, really between, picked... between one and four, you've picked N. <laughs> yes. Okay. I picked the water. You picked the water. Uh, water was the highlight again. Freaking water. It's like, no, take the graphic away. Take it away. <laughs> Thank you. The water is not the highlight. He said it was Sonic. Well, it would be the highlight the sun was shining into it, but I mean... Because it would be high in light. <laughs> Reflection physics. Reflection light effects is Dolly's highlight. <laughs> Am I fired? Oh boy. Right. Okay, that's 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 good. So it, it it's it's it was an episode. <laughs> it's all I can say. Um we all had we had a variety of thoughts on this one actually. It was one of, one, I think it's one of the few episodes where we've sort of all come at it from different angles normally we all we all like it or we all don't like it and this 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 episode was one of those rare ones where we all sort of was like well yeah, yeah. I, I i did say i kind of like i i did like it since it did make me laugh quite a few times i'm not so sure about it i think cat's somewhere in the middle ish mm. But we all, we all took the episode and the characters and where they came from in different ways as well. So, so it, it's an interesting one. It's an interesting, we've, we've never had one where it's been on uh, the commentary. We've never had one where it was us all having such sort of differing points of view over that. So it's interesting in that sense, I guess, the episode. But yeah, I think it's time that we moved on. Yep. And I think it's time that you guys at uh, listening back at home or via mobile or however it is that you're listening in to us, perhaps you're walking around uh, New York uh, listening to this in your headphones. If so, have a nice trip. Um, but for those of you who uh, are watching, uh, please do. Uh, like this video, comment. You've got two things to comment on, besides obviously saying what you think about the episode. Um, and subscribe and click that bell because YouTube and weirdness. And but you'll find out more what's going on with uh, Last Minute Continue and general other things because we've got all manner of content when I finally get around to actually being able to do any of it and uh, <laughs> editing it all up. But there's lots going on, so please do. Uh, you can also find us, of course, on, on Facebook uh, and also on Twitter. You can find these two guys on Twitter as well um, if you want to follow them and, and pay close attention. Everyone follows Donny. I mean, I, I mean, like the because what they're after scared the... he might come up behind them with his terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> It's like to see where he is at all times. But this isn't Halloween. I'm not. I'm not cosplaying as anything scary. Like, why is it am I Donny? Suddenly... Is it? I would hope not. <laughs> I would hope it's not Halloween again. It just went by. You're gonna make a. You're gonna make a plane to take over me... Turbo Ween, are you? It's gonna be Donny Ween. Not, not, not to mention my birthday's in a month, so. Oh, happy birthday to you. <laughs> 
to you. Um, Happy uh, birthday for a month's time. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up doing another recording in the next month. I don't know. There's a lot going on. <laughs> There's a lot coming up for me. As a matter of fact, wait, what day does my birthday fall on? Falls on Monday. If we ended up recording on a Sunday like we usually do, we probably end up recording the day before my birthday. Anyway, if we're lucky, but well, another question for the comments: What would you buy Donny for his birthday? Don't buy me water. We've had enough of that this episode. So. <laughs> and then we're gonna. What is Donny's highlight of his presence? Anyway, water. Thank you very much. Thank you very much from from all of us, and my thanks to uh, both. Donny and Kat for, for joining in but uh, for now anyway from Donny blah 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 <laughs> who's apparently drowning quick sticks <laughs> sticks do something Donny is drowning <laughs> <laughs> we'll save Donny before the next episodes um, Kat and from Kat as well me <laughs> You said cat and cat as well, so you're implying there were two cats. One day this will just end normally. You said cat and cat as well, so cat stuck under water. Okay, I'm going to go off and rescue the other two who are apparently both drowning. <laughs> you can see if Tails got more hose from his plane. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back next, back for episode eight, once I've dried these two off. <laughs> oh, saints preserve me. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye.